Good morning, this is Wildflower Garden Tarot. We got to over 200 subscribers, and I mean, I can't even begin to tell you how excited I am about that. I mean, I know that there's lots of tarot people that they have 200,000 or whatever, 2 million or whatever. But I mean, I just started this in like March, I think, or late May, March of this year. So, you know, and, and like, none of you are people from my life like you know this is you were all people that have come to this f f that you've been led to this this channel and so thank you for subscribing so the deal is what i'm going to do is i was going to do it wednesday morning but i think i'm going to do it friday morning i'm going to do a live um and I'll do that live for an hour, maybe more. And, um, you know, and we'll do some personal readings at, at request as, as you come in. I mean, they'll be short. They'll be like three card readings or whatever, past, present, future, I think is what I'm going to do. Okay. We'll do like an Oracle card, past, present, future, um, live on, on Friday, um, morning. I'll, I'll probably about 10 o'clock my time, but we'll, I'll keep you posted on that. So anyway, I'm not taking those because I'm not, um, anyway, let's get, let's get to it. Where are we for the collective, for my friends? What's going on for my friends today? Playfulness. Spirit just said, remember that we're in Mercury retrograde and there's a lot going on right now. Um, there's a lot going on right now. And so a lot of us might be experiencing um, memory flashes. And so don't, don't like block those. Let those come in and process those. Thank God for them. Thank the universe for them. Thank whoever, you know, um, and then release those. Okay? And then we get past life relationship. Give your relationship. A, holy shit. You give your love. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. That's a lot of messages. But anyway, I'm taking them all. Spirit says take them all. Got a headache. Hold on a second. I hope you're having a lovely day wherever you are. It's beautiful here. I'm gonna go out in my garden. I mean, like look at these nails. I mean, some of <laughs> some of the readers they have these beautiful manicures and their makeup's all done. I didn't even show myself. I have combed my hair today, but I mean, I'm really busy, and I really like to be out. Like I, I really consider myself an earth goddess person. I'm an Aries Taurus and I, uh, I'm very earth and fire. I love my fire. I love to be in the ground. I love to be in the dirt. I'm pulling weeds. I'm always in, you know, in my dirt. I'm barefoot everywhere. And that's who I am as a person. Um, <laughs> so I think you know, I'm in this really playful mood myself today. So I don't know what's going on. Anywho, I'm picking up that, you know, a lot of you a lot of you have been really tight with yourself, have been really hard on yourself. And um and spirit is saying now is the time to let spirit does what spirit does. And, and recognize what is none of your business in your life. That spirit has a role to play in our lives. That there's things going on in our background. And when we try to control a lot of those things, we end up in trouble. So with these cards, it's playfulness. Be re, re, Recapture romance to allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine there's somebody coming in from a past life that you need to give that relationship a, pa a chance 
But before you can really, really give that relationship a chance, you really need to spend some time learning about yourself, learning to love yourself, learning to trust yourself. You know, spending some time, I won't be surprised if we get a hermit card, spending some time in reflection on yourself. Like, get your own shit together so that you know that what you attract is matching you. Okay? And out pops the two of swords. Right? So, right? So what's been going on in the last week or so with my friends here? They've been worrying. They've been worrying about shit they're not supposed to be worrying about. Because the universe has got your back. I'm just going to read what this says, actually. Two of Swords. If you could just send out some in, some a vibe out to the universe. I've got a really horrible headache all of a sudden. Maybe some of you are experiencing like a really bad headache. Kind of down my spine all of a sudden. Like, that's really unpleasant. And kind of all of a sudden. Okay. That's interesting because in this deck it says tenderness and friendship and acceptance. I kind of like this deck because the meanings are quite different and I haven't memorized it yet. Okay. What else is going on? Towers. What? Holy shit, okay. Wow. Holy macaroni. Okay, I'm just going to see here. Okay, we have a lot of sort of energy here. So you guys have really been overthinking everything. Um, like a lot of sort of energy. A lot of you may be feminine, um, single women. Yeah, single women that are, this, this is resonating with that you've had a tower moment with somebody that you loved and trusted right and like for god's sake there's some more swords i mean we have a lot coming out here today people i think with all this mercury energy new moon energy solstice energy a lot of shit's been going on <sighs> there's been some tower moments and judgment. I'm going to look up judgment here. Like, the universe is just going ahead. Like, if you're trying, like, as we, <laughs> uh, that you've been trying to control things. And, like, you feel like you're putting out fires everywhere. And spirit's like, no, I've had enough. And spirits come down. And it's like, no, we're done. Zap. You know how it's funny, like, in a cartoon or something, when somebody's kind of evil, and, like, they show, like, that, you know, like, God's just, like, zunk, and that's what this is. Not that you've been evil, but that you've been trying to control stuff. And, and, and the universe that God, from my perspective, it's God. It's like, no, we're done. We're done here. But I'm interested to see about this judgment. Yeah, okay. So after the tower, we get this. And it says, a moment in which everything will change and in which everything will no longer be important. Examine your conscience. Think about this crucial moment, your arriving point. Think about how your priorities are changing now after this. All of a sudden, this has hit the fan. What you thought was important suddenly maybe isn't. Your priorities can change. Okay? Okay. 
Like, this is really crazy. Hold on a second. And so is this headache. I gotta say, unbelievable headache here. So, like, we're, we're coming to the end of a cycle. Like, honestly, God, we've got the Two of Swords, the Five of Swords, the Ten of Swords, the Queen of Swords, the Eight of Swords. Like, you're really in your head. So, you've had an ill-fated bond, an ill-fated relationship that you have come to the end of. It's like, that's done. And in doing so, you can remember who the fuck you are and be a little bit more self-protective. Okay? Because you've got your own shit together. So just says, look at this, Nine of Pentacles. Yeah. Traditionally, the Nine of Pentacles is like, usually a single woman, a single person, usually a single woman, who's worked really hard, got where she is, not because of other people, but from her own work, her own wisdom. See that eye? Her own spirit of success. But she's, she's looking at, she's able now to look at what's been passed and protect herself from that in the future. This woman is self-protective. Yeah, self-protective. Oh, interesting. Okay, Spirit just says, as soon as you start sticking up for yourself, people start saying you're difficult. You're not being difficult. You're just standing up for, finally, standing up for what's right in your own life. Right? But, I mean, like, this is really hard for you. Like, people that, what you thought were, <clears throat> oh, Spirit just said double-edged swords. Friends, family, workers, maybe after this tower moment. Um, people that you thought were on your side have not been on your side. So, you know, this is just like, you know, this is a lot going on here. You need to, I figured that the, that this was coming out, the hermit. Retreat. Learn to love yourself first. Once you do that, you can embrace playfulness. And when you embrace faithfulness, a Playfulness, a pa your past life, your true love can come in. Is, like, that looks nice. Your true love can come in. Even that you're not going to trust. You need to give that a chance once that comes in. Because check this out. After Hermit comes an emperor. Right? So you've been dealing with broken promises, takers, you see my throat chakra now? Like, you got a lot of stuff that you can't even talk about. And you may have told your friends about different things, but there's, oh my God, my neck is sore now. You poor people, what's going on? This is so terrible. Oh, I'm going to go mow my lawn after this in my bare feet because I think I really need to ground myself. You guys are suffering, but quit it. Like, let spirit, like, let pray manifest what you need because this shit is awful if you can come through this you've got an emperor waiting for you let me look this up like my throat is killing me journal it go for drives yell at whoever you need to because then you can get that physically out of you without you know honestly i'm a little bit worried for myself <laughs> Like, this is terrible. You poor, like, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is what you need. This is what you need. If you're this woman, and you've needed to be this woman, 
because you've been betrayed and treated like shit and people that you thought loved you for who you were were loved you for what you could do for them you need to come to a place in yourself where you can project where you can quit attracting narcissists and takers and you know learn to love yourself Learn to love yourself. Take that time out that you need. Learn to love yourself. Go back and remember what you were like as a child. Or what your hopes and dreams and no matter what your childhood was like. Every child, even in terrible situations, dreams of being a princess or a, or a prince or a queen or dream, has big dreams and, and like a knight in shining armor. You can have that knight in shining armor. They're telling you, you've got a soulmate out there waiting to come in, but you need to deal with all this hurt and betrayal and that you become like, I mean, honestly, like this chick is me, right? Like, don't even fucking think about coming in because I'm used to people hurting me and I'm good now. I got my shit together now. I'm not really looking for somebody to come fuck it up. I mean, if I follow my own advice here. Maybe I can help this come in, right? But it's easier to tell people what to do than to do it yourself. I mean, like, for serious. For serious. I mean, maybe this is reading is for me. And spirits laughing. I mean, it's like, come on, right? Easier said than done. I get that. I get that. You know what? My throat's feeling better now. Maybe I've given you a giggle. It's like, fuck's sakes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'm going to look this one up. See what this one means. Just because the meanings are so different in this deck. My throat's feeling better. Maybe I just need to get that off my chest. So, yeah. I mean, you, 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 you're looking at this. You're, you kind of know who this guy is, I think. But you think he's out of your reach because, like, maybe he's, like, super famous or, like, ooh, that might be out of my reach because I'm just such a fucking loser. <laughs> I couldn't possibly be for me because I attract these ones, right? But, you know, and, and it's like, nah, that's not for me. No. You know, I just attract losers. But, like, that's what part of this retreat is, this hermit time. You need to quit doing that and love yourself first. So when emperors come in, you can give your relationship a fucking chance. Okay, final words for my friends and I today. That's just... <laughs> I mean, if you, if you don't laugh, you cry, right? <laughs> it's like, let's see. Okay, I need to focus, sorry. Okay, let me t tell me about what does the future hold for my friends and their past life relationship, their soulmate? Tell me. Come on, Spirit, quit being stubborn. Spirit's just kind of joking around with me. It's like, you guys think too much anyway. Oh, okay. No, nope, they say, no, nope, that's it. Um, you're going to overthink it. Boy, oh boy, what's with you people today? I, my headache is like getting weirder now. But um, spirits just like, no. And you know what? If nobody can tell you the future anyway. We have to, our future, minute by minute, day by day, right? Week by week, month by month, year by year. Depends on the free will choices of ourselves and the people around us. There's really, I mean, I hate to rain on anybody's parade, but if you're going to somebody, please don't pay somebody to tell you your future. Because, I mean, there's a will of the universe. There's God's will for your life. But you can fuck that up. I mean, um, not forever, right? But... Uh, I mean, you've been really dealing in your head with betrayal and, but I mean, we've just put an end to it. Really interesting because I just had a client here for a, 
the treatment that I do, and she was dealing with a lot of this. A lot of hurt. A lot of hurt. So, you know what? There's, there's something great coming, but, you know, you can learn to put down that shield a little bit, but really spend some time, really spend some time, um, sorry, they just said to pull one, like, yeah, a Sharon, this is a goddess, uh, she, let's see what this says, 10, um, wow, like, they don't usually do that to me. Oh, there are days when you wonder if you're on the right track, if your dreams are valid. If you have what it takes to show up and shine, you might have hit a dry spell where it appears that nothing is happening. This earth goddess appears to remind you of the promise of a new life, just as fields are often left purposely fallow. Perhaps this dry spell of yours is really preparation time. <laughs> preparation time. Under the ground of your visible life lies a stream of abundance that is feeding the roots of the seedlings of your intentions planted in your fields of dreams. Go about your day-to-day -day life with faith. Holy smokes, right? So, you can do better. You can attract better. You quit spoiling people. They're going to say, well, that wasn't right. Like, she, what does she think she is? She's being so cheap or blah, 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 or whatever. But, like, you know what? Just move forward. Move forward. You know, quit taking this crap off of people and learn to love yourself first. When you love yourself first, that's when you can quit bringing in narcissists and start if you don't love yourself if you don't love yourself fully you're going to bring in people that don't love you either if you love yourself you're going to bring in people who love you just as you are i don't know if you ever watched bridget jones's diary but what a thing for somebody like me or somebody like you obviously that somebody a, a wonderful man a powerful man a man who's got his shit together wants me just as I am, wants you just as you are. He's there. But you you need to retreat and love yourself first to give these relationships a chance. All right. Have a great have a great day. I'll probably do I'm, I'm, my garden's in so I'm going to try to do these more on the regular. And yeah, like if you can join me on my live, um, you know, maybe I'll do it in the evening when, I mean, this is all over the world, but you know what, just if you want to message me and tell me what good times, like whether, because I'm central standard time here, um, you know, I don't, I don't know what's a good time. Maybe evening is a better time when people aren't at work. I mean, a lot of us aren't in quarantine anymore. Just send messages like, what's a good time for a life? All right. See ya.